Hello and welcome. This is our conversation for the problem solving course. I am Maria. This is Michelle. Hello. Hi, Maria. So um, let us chat for a bit. But I want to ask a serious question now. What are your dreams about kids and mathematics? What do you really want? Um, I've always enjoyed math. I, it's not that it came easy, but I enjoyed the challenge of learning, of learning math. And I love the structure of it and the beauty of how it all fits together. And I want to pass that enjoyment of just of having a challenge and solving it and taking satisfaction in that solving of it. So what does it mean for you, this enjoyment? Can you talk more about that? Uh, the challenge, the enjoyment comes for me from the challenge of seeing a problem that's difficult and it's not apparent what, what the answer is and being able to figure out what the answer is, even if it's difficult, and taking satisfaction in having even tried to to come up with the answer. The... Mm -hmm. So the difficulty is in is that's a very particular difficulty you describe. A particular okay. interesting kind of difficulty of the challenge. There are different challenges. So it's a challenge specifically of not knowing how to do it, right? Right. And yeah. And so, so you figure it out. You don't know, then you figure it out. Right. I have kids that, that um, I have children that are naturally smart and math comes fairly easy to them, but they don't, they don't want to work hard when it doesn't come easy to them. And, um, and just in my experience, like you said, math wasn't, easy for me. I didn't naturally see connections, but I enjoyed when I finally did struggle through it and see the connection. And I feel like my kids defeat themselves um, and they don't even want to try if they think it's hard. The mm -hmm. So it seems there is some other if variable if we are talking math. Uh, it's not just easy and hard, because you say things are not easy, but you enjoy them. Yeah. But it's different for, for the kids, so it's not about easy or hard, it's about something else. What do you think is that enjoyment that you dream about? What is it about? I don't know. Um the puzzling through the different ways that you could look at a problem and bringing order to it, making it make sense, that, and trusting that there is, for the most part, a solution, and persevering and enjoying the persevering. That, that just because it's hard doesn't mean it's not enjoyable, that you can enjoy things that are difficult. So uh, you describe this beautiful process of it. You start struggling and it's difficult, but you believe it will be all right. It is okay. The process is also interesting and you persevere through that process. You try yeah. different things, you persevere. And it is pleasant for some people and not others. Right. How do you think we can help kids with this dream? How can we help them find pleasure there? What is it that makes a difference? Um, I think being able to work together on projects and being having other people inspire you to push a little bit harder. Um, you know, we homeschool, so we're somewhat isolated. We don't have a group math class. That, so to, to have other people working in the same way and, and being inspired by that, I think, helps. And 
um, I'm hoping that, and I really don't know what your, I've never done any of these projects with you, so I don't know, right. don't have any idea of what it's like, what the experience is. Are you inviting any friends locally to play with you? Um, I'd like to, I don't know how that works, like, what because you... I would love to. I would love to do something like that over the summer, um, and and I know my group would love if I would do some kind of math club, some something that because all of us are in the same boat, we're all having the same issues. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, we have kids that are doing their math because they know how to do it and they get through it, and other kids are doing it because they're obedient, but they totally there's utterly no joy in doing it. So, you know, they would love it if I would bring something that would inspire and and have that group feeling to it. Uh, what uh, do your kids like to do? Are there any projects or uh, things where it is hard, as you describe, but they persevere? Maybe not with Minecraft. math. Minecraft is like the big, you know, all of my kids play Minecraft. And Minecraft. They put a yeah, so they, they enjoy the cooperative building together kind of things, and they they each have tasks they do that help to build this one group goal that that all of them can enjoy. Do you think we could bring problems into Minecraft? I uh, I mean, they they talk about how long they know how long it takes to to mine certain things and they there's like process that goes into um, when you want to build a structure and people taking part and how long it's going to take and how long you need to work on this and then what do you need to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe, um, hmm. uh, maybe you can invite someone, so the, the, the idea is I send the problems on Monday so you can look at them. The problems we'll have in this course, right? Uh, do you know where to find them? No. I I know so little about this that um, it's just the thing that was sent to me sounded interesting and okay. I haven't had time to go look. Okay. The rest of so on Monday I sent an email called MPS MOOC, which stands Mathematical Problem Solving. Uh, okay. Massive online course, uh, MPS MOOC Observer. That, okay. That's our little newspaper, <laughs> the <laughs> the MOOC Observer. So in okay. there, um, it gives you a link to where the problems are, the first three. Okay. So if you can locate that email, maybe not this moment, but at okay. some point. Yeah, I don't remember getting it, but I'll have to go through and look through my inbox again. Mm -hmm. If you didn't get it, email me or uh, let me know on Facebook. Uh, okay. So this email has a link to, to the question, and it invites you to plan. So okay. look at the problems and think, how can you invite your kids to enjoy them? So okay. maybe you can say, okay, kids, here is a problem. Let's build a model of it in Minecraft. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or okay. something of that nature. I don't know what other things they like, but you can do problems through stories, right? Okay, yeah. Through and that's a lot of our math to make it more enjoyable. Like I turn problems into to stories. <laughs> Because they're more willing to work at that than... Do than they like a, it? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it makes it more real. It's more understandable. They see a point to doing it. So, so maybe kids can even make their own stories. Okay. Or you, you can start. They can start, right? Right. Yeah. That sounds good. Okay. So this week, until the end of the week, until Sunday, we need to plan things like this. Okay. But that, as we plan, keep your dreams in mind because you want this process. So just think, right. how will it work? Right? Okay. Okay. Because they're beautiful dreams. Like, I, I like, I like what, 
you dream about I, uh, th this process the journey it right. really resonates with me so when you when you think about it this week just make short plans i think a few people already put the plans up in the okay. in the last couple of days so you can see uh for example what denise uh, wrote she's a homeschooler too so um you you will see it there in comments under that link okay all right so it will all be on that same page then yes. okay. Easy. okay no that's good so i am getting those emails but i i think i've missed something in the okay the okay so um so that's uh that's the thing and um and then um just just think about it if you can find some of those parents you mentioned to maybe come over and do things together okay that may help too right so maybe just call somebody see if they want to meet for this okay no and it's good because we're done with um I had a huge play last week. It's all finished up. So you had a play? Yes. A, a huge production. So they're all finished and we're downtime now. So what did you produce, if you don't mind me asking? Um, the Wizard of Oz. And it's a seventeen year old. She's done a play every summer for mm -hmm. for us. And they the kids do I mean the parents help, but the kids organize all of it and it turns into a very nice production. Like wow. we're yeah. Yeah, my, my my kids in a play too. It's a huge engagement. It's a lot of work. <laughs> so what is your play? Uh King Lear. Oh, okay. Wow. So they they kind of do a similar thing. They organized it themselves, so Yeah. That's a Yeah, that'll be interesting. And it's a good experience, a good group cooperative experience yeah. it's one of those things actually like you describe where they work hard and persevere right yeah <laughs> right okay and that would be good for me to relate back to them that they do stuff that is hard you know I have a um, 18 year old son who just he gets so defeated because he struggled so much with school and he got a car, he bought a car, and he's been working on it, and he finds that there are things he doesn't know how to do, but he enjoys going to research it and mm -hmm. and figuring out how to fix it. And that's the kind of thing that I want, so it's not just math, but it's throughout your life, that just because it's hard doesn't mean that it can't be enjoyable. But... They need to make it enjoyable somehow. Right. You can tell them to change the mass until it makes it, it it's joy <laughs> right so that's like a great idea that that yeah so so and they can do this is the nature of this course so that's what we do so tell them how can you take this mass and make it a lot of joy right. okay <laughs> Okay, that sounds good. And they will probably say something unexpected. I expect the unexpected. <laughs> right? Right. Okay. 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 So see see what they do with it, see what you do with it. Okay. Okay. That sounds okay. good. Uh do you have any questions now about how to do things, what to what to play, what to, to read? Well, I think I just need to go back and read what, what's been posted so far, and um, I think I'll have a better feeling then for what we need to do. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, it will help. And uh, If you have any questions, you know where to find me. Right. And you, okay. can, you can post questions to everybody on the forum as well. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. So that's what we'll do. Sounds like we'll have some adventures. Okay, that sounds wonderful, Maria. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm going to uh, stop the recording. Okay. When I find.